All right, guys, thank you for joining me today on Instinctive Addiction Archery. Jeff Phillips. By request, by request, I'm going to do a quick video on my shot process, okay? I have been asked, uh, various people have asked me lately, okay, man, what do you do? Your style of shooting seems to be so simple. What do you do? How do you exactly do it? Where do you anchor it? How do you look at your target? How do you figure out your distances and things? How do you truly do what you do, being that it seems so simple, okay? Guys, it is simple. It's very, very simple, okay? And I love it. It's a super, super simple process. And I'm gonna go through this and show you exactly what I do at some targets here with this lightweight 35 pound ILF bow I got that I absolutely love. Uh, but anyway, 38 pounds is ultra comfortable shooting a 350 grain arrow uh, for 3D. That's what I'm doing. Okay, so like anybody, I have to work on my process. I have to work on not plucking that string. That's right. And a light pound bow really trains you well to do that, to not throw your hand away, not pluck the string, which will cause you to shoot to the right. Every single time you pluck a string, your air is going to impact to the right. It's gonna happen. If you give up at the very second of release, if you give up anything, typically you're going to hit high. Most of the time you're going to launch. You're going to try, your arm will try to shove the bow up as you release, okay? All those bad things, you don't need those. You have to develop a rock solid lineup, come in to draw, feel the anchor, then hone on what you want to shoot. You're looking at your spot. You never take your eye off of it. You're looking at your spot. And as you come in and you think, Come into anchor, elbow up, stare at the spot, shoot, boop, done deal. Every time. It's so simple, guys. So I'm going to take you through this, and hopefully, hopefully, it'll be a help to you. Let's go. All right, guys, so I'm going to demonstrate for you where I anchor at. Okay, when I'm shooting three under, um, this is my most comfortable anchor point, and it's super consistent. This index finger pulls in at the bottom of my cheekbone. It's kind of like a, your cheekbone goes down and around. So when you come in, you feel it. You can, it almost, it can't go up any higher, but you can feel it. You can feel it on that cheekbone. So when it's pulling in, that would put my middle finger pretty much in the corner of my mouth. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly where it's at here, okay? That right there. It's my anchor, okay? I'll show you again. This is my normal shot process. Just like that. Okay. One more time. There you go. Okay? All right, I'll try to give you another angle here. I'm gonna do just multiple angles showing you kind of how I line up, draw, focus, and execute my shot. And <clears throat> I'm shooting a really light pound bow now, 38 pounds. So this bow is like really, really fun to shoot. And it, it'll help you work on your form. That'll guarantee you, okay? Line up with your target. Come in to anchor. Execute, okay? Just like that. Like that. Every time. Okay. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to show you another angle of my process. I'm going to try to work it all the way around where hopefully you can see what I'm seeing and, and how you actually line up, come into your anchor while you're looking at the spot and execute your shot. Okay. I'm shooting a very light pound bow. This is a 38 pound bow. A lot of fun to shoot, that's for sure. All right, line up. That's the first thing, line up. Think, anchor. Once you line up, think, come into anchor. Bring it all back, get your elbow up. Once you have hit anchor, then you hone in on your spot. But you don't hone in on it as hard as you can 
till you're at full draw. You're looking at it, but once you hit your anchor, bam, all your focus goes right to that spot and you just pull through. Just like that, just like that. See, I don't even really hold a light pound bow very long at all. Yeah, right there. Okay, that's that's one angle. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but those those are definitely in there. Okay, so check this out, guys. I'm gonna do this right here. I'm gonna turn. I have a uh, yeah. There we go. Okay. All right. I'm gonna show you a couple of frontal shots here as close as I can show you what it looks like from here. I'll do one on this side, then I'll do one on the other side. Okay? Watch this, guys. Okay? Just like that. Just like that. Okay? All right. Here we go. Turn to shoot this one. Perfect. Okay. All right. So, as you can see, that one, that one's in the little dot. This one's in the 12 from this angle. These first two are in it from that angle. Okay. So, all right. So, hopefully, you can tell how I'm doing my process because uh, I've been asked so many times, okay, where do you anchor? How do you look? How do you line up? What is your process? Okay, guys, it's very, very simple. Okay, let me get my other. Very simple. It's a matter and I could probably demonstrate it really close right here to, to a little better for you. When you, no matter what the distance the target is, no matter what it is, if it's 30, 40 yards, 10 yards, doesn't matter. You learn, you learn how to elevate your bow and where you need to be to make that shot in elevation. You learn it through your equipment, through repetition, because, you know, once you shoot a shot two or three times with the same bow and the same grain weight arrow, well, you know what the trajectory is pretty much, and it's it, it's just relatively easy. Your right and left comes in, or at least mine, my right and left comes in at distance. Now, say 15 yards and under, irrelevant, doesn't matter. But past that, let's say 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, split vision comes into play like I shared in the other video. Split vision allows you, when you're at full draw, okay? When you're at full draw, you can see where that arrow's at, okay? You can see it, even though you're not looking at it. You're looking at that spot, but your peripheral vision, right? Your peripheral vision sees exactly where that shaft's at, right and left. I mean, it, it's, it's a no-brainer. You're looking at the spot, but your peripheral tells you when it's right because you're able to see where that arrow is pointing right and left. I don't use mine for up and down gap elevation. I don't. But my peripheral does pick up on the right and left at distance, but it's only at distance. Close distance, there's just no need. Uh, relatively, because at close distances, your, your bow arm is naturally a little bit lower. It's not extended up close to the target. At distance, it is. At distance, your, your bow arm, your fist, per se, it's up there fairly high. It's say a 30, 35 yard shot. Whereas up close, well, it's down below. You're not looking at it, there's no need to. There's, it's just completely irrelevant. You're looking at the spot, just like this little bear right here. If I'm just looking at that spot right there. Okay, just like shooting a, a frog or anything else. You just look at it and shoot it. You don't think about anything, okay? But now when you have a little bit more distance, let's say, 
the wolf target there, say he's about, oh, I don't know, between 15 and 18 yards. He's a little bit further. Basically, same thing on that distance. Perfect shot. All I did was look at the spot and shot. I didn't think about anything else. The further you go out, you naturally will start elevating because of arrow trajectory. So that's where you learn to notice, to be really accurate at distance. Notice the right and left of your shaft while you're looking at the spot and feeling like you have the right elevation, noticing that right and left. And it's just through practice with whatever bow you're shooting. Now like this is a 35 pound bow here. It's bottomed out this ILF rig, bottoms out at 38 pounds, okay? Super comfortable, but I shoot this thing identical to a 50 pound bow. It doesn't make any difference. All of my custom bows that are in the 40s, I shoot exactly the same way as this bow, other than this metal riser ILF bow, I prefer to shoot it vertical versus canted. Uh, it, it's kind of like shooting a compound. The feel of this aluminum riser and the way that the grip feels, I just shoot it very accurately, shooting it pretty much vertical. All the wood bows, I shoot with a slight cant, about the one o'clock position, which really opens up my sight window. This bow has a huge sight window, okay? So with a sight window like that, I don't really have to cant this bow. That's why I don't, okay? So hopefully, guys, this will help you a little bit um, to, to see what I mean and what I'm doing as far as my actual draw cycle, anchor point, and how I focus and release. Now, let's just say if I was going to hold this bow and really study a spot, this is what I would do. And, and you may find this to be beneficial. Let's just say if I was going to draw and shoot this bow, let's just say at this wolf here, all right? I didn't shoot any better that two or three seconds than I did, you know, one second. I personally didn't. That's about my normal comfort range. Put it right in there. Call that a second and a half, two seconds. I don't need any more than that to be locked on and dead on. Anything much past that, even with a light bow, I will tend to start thinking about things. I'll think about my release. I'll think about whatever, and I'll make mistakes. That's why I don't do it. Now, if you can, and you're like a machine, and, and, and I mean literally, if you're like a machine, and you can sit there, and you can hold that thing, and you can execute the most crisp release on the planet, do it, do it. If you can lock that bow arm and really, really execute that way, go for it. It'll be even better. Gives you time to focus, but now, being that I'm not aiming with the arrow tip, there is just no need for me to do that. I don't have to acquire an aim. So that's how I shoot, guys. So I hope you've enjoyed this as always, and I thank you for joining me on Instinctive Addiction Archery. I'm Jeff Phillips, I love you, and I just pray that you guys uh, be mindful of what this week is. Easter week, Holy Week. Take time this week to just uh, think about, think about what our Savior did for us, what he went through so that we didn't have to die and go you know where, okay? We don't have to, guys. Just think about what he did. He took our place on that cross, and I love him for it. Thanks for joining me on Instinctive Addiction Archery, guys. I'll catch you later, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, God bless. Goodbye.